Hi, this is Erin O'Toole. Uh, I'm the editor of Thought Pieces, 1970s photographs by Lou Thomas, Donnelly Phillips, and Hal Fisher, which was published by Mac in conjunction with an exhibition of the same name at the San Francisco Museum of Modern Art, where I'm a curator in the photography department. So Thought Pieces is about a short period of time in the mid to late 1970s in San Francisco when these three artists were most active. Um, when they were making photographs, publishing books, writing criticism, and organizing exhibitions. Uh, I like to think of them as disruptors, to use that somewhat awful tech term, um, because they uh, made it their mission to challenge the status quo in photography in the Bay Area and to push the medium in a new direction. Uh, they were inspired by conceptual art and French philosophy, um, and they made their work about ideas and they frequently explored the relationship between photographs and language. It's hard to pick favorite pictures, because uh, I love everything in the book, um, but uh, I'd like to talk about the piece that's on the cover of the book, which is called Vacuum, which is made in 1975. Um, in the book, I've included short quotes from Thomas describing some of his pieces, um, and I especially love his description of this one. He writes, quote, for some time, I had wanted to make a piece with an irregular shape. During this time, I was reminded constantly of the awkwardness of a vacuum cleaner because it seemed to be a permanent fixture in the living room. I thought it was too bad that the goddamn thing couldn't be a piece of sculpture so that it would have at least a decorative reason for being there, end quote. Um, lastly, what I would say about this work is um, what draws me to it um, and the time in which it was made is how different it is from today. Um, back then, there was no market for photography. Artists weren't making work with the hopes that it would sell or it would make them famous. Um, they were making it because they were driven to make it, because they had to. And um, I find the energy and the enthusiasm that they put into their work to be incredibly inspiring.